Well, thanks very much for joining us. This is the MeWe Metaphysics and Wellness Fair for Energizing Body, Mind, Heart, and Soul. We have events throughout the Northwest. We're in Seattle, Portland, Salem, and Eugene. And we have events online. We have a lot of events online now. So this is one of our online fairs. We have about 12 practitioners here tonight. We will be sharing about who we are, what we offer. We'll be doing an intuitive panel where we answer your questions. And then we'll be in breakout rooms and many practitioners will be offering free talks. And all the practitioners are available to do sessions tonight or you can purchase them now, sign up for them now and do them the next week or so. Many of the practitioners have specials if you do the session tonight or if you sign up tonight for one in the, in the coming days. Usually they're um, at a lower price than you can get otherwise. So it's a great way to get to meet the practitioners, get to know us, find out who you wanna work with and then sign up to do a session either tonight or soon. All right, let's see. And by the way, before you leave tonight, we also have a feedback form. If you are interested in doing, um, if you're interested in sharing some of your feedback about tonight, you'll get entered into a drawing for a free 30 minute session with a practitioner of your choice. And that information just went in the chat right now. Maybe I'll say a little bit about Zoom. If you're not familiar with um, how the Zoom works, if you're on a computer on the bottom left, you can mute and unmute. You can turn your video on and off. Um, there's a button for chat and then a panel will open on the side and you can um, write to us. You can let us know right now in particular if you have a question for the intuitive panel, we'll get you in line for that. You can click also participants and then you can see who's in the room. The three of us are doing admin tonight. So if we could all wave. Geo2, like, so we're all doing admin. So if you have any questions, you'll see an A in front of our name. And um, let us know if you want to, um, if you have a question for the intuitive panel, if you want to connect with a practitioner, there's a particular room that you want to go to work with a practitioner. Let us know all those things, or if you're having trouble with your technology. So if you click someone's name in the practitioner panel, then you can chat with them directly or down in the chat on the bottom, there's a little pull down tab and you can just click that and select the name of who you want to write to. You can write to the individual practitioners directly or write to us if you have questions or want help. Let's see. Um, and then in your Zoom on the top right, um, they've changed Zoom a little bit. Some of you might have the new updated Zoom. You can toggle between gallery view and speaker view, or you can click the new button view and then choose what kind of view you want. And we're going to be using breakout rooms later. Um, on the bottom, there's a little breakout room um, icon. And so when you click that, it'll give you information about what room you have the option of joining. Um, and there are great new tools in Zoom that we'll be implementing next week at our fair. But this will work just like we did um, the last few fairs, if you've been here. We're going to be here in this big room together for the next hour, having the practitioners introduce themselves and then doing the intuitive panel. And then we're going to be splitting off into breakout rooms and all the practitioners will have a set of breakout rooms and they'll have their names and their modalities. And you'll be able to go in and out throughout the whole fair. And then I'll also have a set of um, session rooms that will be private. So if you want to do a session with a practitioner, you'll be able to just come out to the main room, let us know, and we'll put you in a session room. All right. I think those are some of the basics of Zoom and how this will all work. And we have so many talks tonight. Um, the list of talks is going to go in the chat at some point, too. The other thing is that if you want to look at who the practitioners are, any of their contact info, their modalities, or see the list of talks, you can simply go to jointhefair.com at any time. And on that web page, that's where you join the fair to click the button to get in here. If you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see all the practitioners, you'll see the flyer, and the list of talks is right below that. All right, let's see if there are any other pieces. We just recorded a little video for Facebook Live, and I'm going to go grab that and put that in the chat in a moment for us. And um, yeah, I think we can get going on the introductions. All right. Okay, practitioners, we will, we will start in the middle of the alphabet today. Um, so let's, how about, um, let's see, Donna. All right, I'll have Donna go first. So we'll go Donna and then Galactic Ashley and then me. And um, so practitioners, go ahead, take like a minute, minute and a half um, to introduce yourselves and um, we'll be on the way. Okay, so Hi, let's everybody. Donna. Hmm? Sorry. <laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Donna Sauer. Uh, I have a PhD in biology, um, a master's in zoology. I taught about 30 years in medical sciences. Um, I've studied Lakota healing traditions and I'm a Reiki master. I do uh, both animal communication and long distance animal energy healing. Um, and uh, this evening I'm gonna be giving a talk on healing modalities for rescue and uh, traumatized pets. And um, I also do mini readings, uh, 
uh, which are on a, a donation um, basis. If you want a full reading, uh, it's $40, uh, which is reduced rate. And you can either do that in a session tonight or you can uh, do it after, sign up for it after the fair. Hope to see you all. Thanks, bye. Thanks so much, Donna. All right, Galactic Ashley, then me, then Stephanie. Hi, I'm Galactic Ashley. I channel divine guidance for star seeds, connecting them to their star families and galactic lineages. I use light language frequencies and work with your cosmic connections to facilitate high frequency healing, <clears throat> transmissions and encoded activation. So come talk to me about my upcoming galactic guided intensive called Sovereignty and the Sacred Art of Channeling. It is a nine week program that starts in two weeks. And then tonight I will be giving two talks. Um, <clears throat> one is more of a channeled experience where you will receive light language and um, healing transmissions as well as um, any channeled guidance that comes through based on who's in the room. And then I will also be co-hosting in a break room with breakout room with um, Universal Shaman Wyatt Larson from the Wildwood Hollow. And we will be doing something that we're really excited about. And it's um, Crystal Skull Talks. And tonight we're going to be talking about the Ascension process with our Crystal Skulls. Um, and we also have events coming up this weekend on Sunday, the Cosmic Octave. And then next week we're going to be having an A free um, Crystal Skull event. So come hang out and get your galactic groove on. Thanks so much. We've got, um, I'll share next and then Stephanie and then Susie. Oh, and so actually Satora is just here too. So she will share in a moment. All right. So I'm Morelai Shmayo. I'm an intuitive eye reader, a body psychology coach, and I'm also a matchmaker. So about eye readings, I use these for just about everything. I think that we all read eyes all the time, like eyes are a window to the soul. Eyes are also the window to our soulmates. That's how I use it for matchmaking. So when I see your eyes, I see you, a deeper you than a lot of the world sees, than even you may be realizing about yourself. I read your soul. I'm able to see what your natural, what your natural talents are, what your purpose is, how you most easily communicate, what motivates you, how you protect yourself, and how you grow yourself. Where are you in your lessons? I can help you realize and appreciate where you've come and appreciate what your gifts are more and help you make steps in your life to share those. And also, if you show me photos of people you've dated and your parents, I can help you understand the patterns of who you've dated. And I can help you rewrite an online dating profile and choose people, choose eyes of people that are much better fit for you, that are soulmates. That's what I do in addition to running the event. Thanks so much. And I have my work offered at a special tonight. I'm going to be running the fair, but I also, um, you say I also am able to, you can sign up to do sessions with me um, later. All right, so um, Stephanie and Susie and then Satora will share. Hi everyone, so thank you for joining us. I'm Dr. Stephanie Stanfield. I have a PhD in energy medicine and a doctorate of theology in spiritual counseling. I am a certified Reiki master and I do a lot to work with people to help understand the intuition and the guidance that they get. So I do angel card readings as well. And this kind of helps them to open the door to what is possible and what they hear and then how they hear it. And tonight I will be doing a talk on healing with the angels and I'll probably bring up Archangel Raphael. He is known as the healing angel. And I have a special show special going on. It's $20 for a 20 minute reading. I invite you to visit my YouTube channel, Angel Card Guidance. And this week's reading was from Archangel Uriel. I think you might find it interesting. Thanks so much, Stephanie. All right, we've got Susie and then Satora and then Wendella. Hi, I'm Susie Parker Goins with Blue Lightning Healing. I am a channel uh, and that means I bring the guides through to talk to you so you can establish a relationship with them so you can work with them whenever you need to. I'm also an energy healer. I can do body scans. You know, we can talk Reiki. I'm also a past life explorer and healer. So we can look at past lives and, and see how they're affecting you now. I have podcasts on Spotify and Amazon Music and Google and a few other uh, platforms called Blue Lightning Healing Meditations. And that's when I do a, med a 
talk on Thursdays with the med meditation on Mondays. Uh, my website is bluelightninghealing.com. And tonight I'm doing two talks, one about the care and feeding of spirit guides, and the other is about energy cords. Thanks. And I'm looking forward to seeing everybody tonight. Great, Susie. All right. We've got Satora and then Wendella and then Wyatt. Oops, Wyatt might not be here yet. All right. Hi, I'm Satora with Well of Love. I'm an energy healer and a channel. Um, I help people who go through a crisis, transformation, transition, change. And um, <laughs> I have a brain freeze. Um, oh, let's talk about the Jinshin Tara that you do. I know. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So I, I do two energy modalities, which uh, one is quantum energetic realignment, which is my own modality that came to me and uh, Jinjin Terra, which is uh, based uh, on oriental healing method um, based on Jinjin Shih Tzu and the founder, Dr. Stephanie Mines, she included uh, her research in neuroscience with the Chin Shin and combined it and added a lot of applications specifically geared towards um, resolving trauma and shock and the effects in the body and in the whole system. And this modality has wonderful self-care applications, very simple holding points on your body that can help balance the meridians in your body, balance the energy systems. Uh, so I'll be showing some of that later in my breakout room. I'll also do um, group healing and channeling. I also have a special and I'm doing a, a group that I'm starting to offer now that is called Respite, specifically for all of us in these challenging times. It's a journey to inner healing sanctuaries and it's for you to recharge, regenerate, rebalance. Thanks for being here. Bye. Thanks, Satora. All right, we've got um, Wendella and then we'll be at the top with Alethea. Hi, my name's Wendella. I'm an evidential psychic medium. I've been a spiritualist since I was eight. I've been practicing on and off for the last 40 years. I also offer psychic and mediumship development workshops um, that are ongoing weekly and we all get together and I can help troubleshoot. One of my abilities is to be able to twin with energy and spirit. So I can help people link and develop their psychic abilities. My website is, which way? This way, <laughs> readingsbywendella.com. And I have a Facebook group. I've got a bunch of stuff. I haven't been here for a while, so I've, I'm just going to hover about, answer questions. If anybody has questions about psychic and mediumship, I'm always up to answer them. So thank you for coming. Great. Thanks, Wendella. We've got Alethea and then Amanda and then Brandy. Hi, I'm Alethea Devi. I love to know the story of your family because we carry things consciously and unconsciously because we want to belong and because we love our family. So a lot of this that we think is ours, we are carrying on behalf of our family and back generations to our ancestors. Sometimes it gets in our way. Sometimes it gets in our way. So what I like to do is I scanning your energy field. I'm figuring out where these blocks are and they're usually associated with some issue that's going on in your world right now, something related to your family. Is there an entanglement? Is there something that is separated that needs to be resolved and come back together and healed? This is one of my favorite things to do as we talk about our authentic self what is truly you and the conditioned self, which is all those things that come from your family, your education system, the medical system, all these things that have an effect of layering on top of each other and sorting through all of this. So what is your authentic gift 
to give to the world. And this is one of my favorite things to talk about. I have two talks tonight, one at 6.30 and one at 7.30. I have a Facebook group, Spiritual Alchemy, Shamanism, Psychology and Family Constellations. And my uh, website is revealedheart.com. And I'm always so enthused uh, to meet new people. And I love meeting colleagues. Hello to everyone. And have a very enjoyable evening. I am so look forward to talking with you. Thank you. Thank you, Alethea. All right, we've got Amanda, Brandy, and then Kara. Hi, I'm Amanda Root from stonewoundtarot.com. I read runes. Runes are ancient symbols that were used for divination purposes and protection and for revenge before they were even used as an alphabet for the, for the Germanic peoples thousands of years ago. Um, let's see. Each of, each of them has a different meaning and the meanings are universal and some of them are personal and they just talk about the flow of energy and what's happening in the universe within us and outside of us. Um, I use runes to answer questions about your life purpose, about your relationships with other people and about really you can ask them anything. They have all the answers in these little ancient symbols. Um, I toss them down, I see where they land. And it's kind of imagine if you like just take tarot cards and throw them on the ground and then read it. But I do that with the runes. Um, I'll be offering readings today in the, however we do that. <laughs> and then I will be giving two talks in the breakout room. Um, one of them is introduction to runes, what are they? And the other one has to do with how can we use them to access our past lives? And that's it. Great, thank you so much, Amanda. All right, we've got Brandy and then Kara and then is there anyone else that comes in? All right, great. Hi, my name is Brandy Roberts and I'm an Oracle. And what that means is people ask me questions that they want the answer to. And then we have a conversation about that or whatever else pops into, you know, from them to me about that. And as they speak to me, I sort of get this imagery that plays around in my head that tells a story about how the distortion and the trauma was sort of collected and how the decisions were made and how that played out in their life. And then um, I use Reiki to sort of release the um, emotion from that, sort of a PTSD cleansing of that and, and, and the trauma and, and clear that way. And that's usually what a session is. And it could involve channeling it could involve getting wisdom from masters. It could involve um, all sorts of different things. So, um, so I like to, to, I'm psychic and all sorts of things, but Oracle is really the best way to describe the type of overall work that I do uh, in a session. And I work by donation only. Thank you. Blessings. Thanks, Brandy. And Kara. Hey everybody, I'm Kara James. I'm an intuitive astrologer in Portland, Oregon. And while astrology is my mainstay, I weave psychic messages and do energy work and healing with clients, depending on whatever comes up in that particular session. Uh, I believe astrology is one of the most powerful ways that we can connect to our personality, our life story, past and present, and perhaps even future. Um, and it also has a lot to say about our purpose, what we're here to learn and experience and grow. Astrology is wonderful for timing, understanding why certain things are happening in our lives in that particular moment. It also can give us information about how our energy might be used in the future. So there's lots of different ways that can be looked at. We can look at family patterns. We can look at, again, life purpose. You can look at relationships, career, vocation, and not only get a good understanding of what that thing is for you, uh, what you can learn from it, what you can work with, but also uh, when, you know, when those different things will, will play out or get most activated in your life. So if you're wanting to know when will my book get published, when will things get easier? That's a big question this year. A lot of people are under a lot of cosmic pressure. Um, there's just a lot of different ways to use this system to, uh, to get guidance. So again, uh, Kara James, I'm offering uh, four different talks tonight. Uh, one is just a group, group chat, but one is going to be on the presidential election. Uh, one's going to be on your moon sign, which is a really good one for self-care. Uh, really helpful these days to understand more of what that can, uh, what we specifically need. 
uh, the moon has a lot to say about that. And then I'm also going to just be talking about astrology of the year in general. So look forward to seeing you all. And uh, I'm not doing any readings tonight, but I will have a, a discount code for folks that do come uh, to one of the talks. So thank you. Great. Thank you so much. I think everyone has introduced themselves. If anyone else has come in, let me know. We have one more practitioner that will be joining us shortly. Um, that's Wyatt Larson. He does shamanic sessions with intuitive readings, and he will be participating with Galactic Ashley in the talk that involves the crystal skulls. All right. Well, let's see. So the next portion of our event, maybe let's talk about the talks briefly, just so you get an idea of all the talks that are coming. Maybe, can you put them in the chat again, um, Anissa? Oh yeah, so people are starting to ask questions. This is great. I just wanna make sure you get a sense of all these talks. There are so many talks that are happening. So you can see it in the chat if you're on a phone. Let's see how many of you, just give you samplings of things, right? So feel better with angel guidance, what the bleep is going on this year, astrology. We have talks with a shaman, what are runes, spirit guides, light language healing, energy cords, our authentic self, our conditioned self, Jin Shin Tara, energy healing, um, all kinds of different things are coming up. Right, so there's a schedule there. And then also, if you go on the web to jointhefair.com and scroll down, you can see the list of all the talks below the flyer. The flyer has the list of all the practitioners that are here tonight, all of our contact info, our websites, and the offerings that we have. If you have a special offer tonight, we've attempted to get that in the flyer for everyone so you can see. Usually we offer our sessions at a, a lower price and sometimes smaller sizes so you can do sampler sessions and still get really great, rich information. By, um, by dancing around the fair, really, and joining practitioners in breakout rooms, you'll also usually get some samples and get to talk with them more deeply about their work. So that'll be coming up a little bit later. And let's see, we're going to be going now to the section where we do an intuitive panel where we answer questions from the audience. And I know I saw someone ask a question in the chat, and probably that's already... Um, yep, that's already my one of my assistants has already put it in the question document. So we prioritize people who are new who haven't been to our fairs before. Um, we answer their questions first, we might get to answer three or four, excuse me, or so questions tonight. Um, and we've got one so we're going to get started and uh, maybe a few things to say before we answer. Um, so when you ask a question of the panel. I mean, our aim is to honor you. We so want to honor you. And we might go deeper and talk about things you don't want us talking about here because this is in public and it's recorded. We're going to be putting it up on the web. So keep in mind, everything here is totally available for everyone. So we might go deeper than you want us to share. We might talk about an area of life that you don't want us talking about. Please let us know. You can tell us in the beginning if you want us to stay with keep our answer kind of connected in just one space, or if we start talking about something you don't want us to be sharing about, unmute and let us know, wave your hands around right in the chat. We want to honor you and we will change how we're responding. That's one thing. And then also we believe that everyone is intuitive. So you're here at this fair. Chances are you know you're intuitive. If something comes in for you while we're answering someone's question, we request that you allow the attention to stay up with the panel, but you might want to write down what comes through for you. Often the messages will leave quickly. And then if you want to, when we're done answering that person's question, you can always write them in the chat and say, hey, this thing came through for me and ask them, do you want to know? And please honor whatever it is that they share. They might be full after hearing, from the, hearing all the answers from all of us. And if they want, you're welcome to share it with them. Also, um, we'll say, oh, and this is an opportunity, even if you don't ask a question, to just learn from everything that's shared, everything that's asked, everything that's answered. You may have your own intuitions that come alive as you hear, and it's an opportunity for you to really check in and confirm that you're in alignment with a bunch of other practitioners and we're all seeing similar things and it's a way for you to help validate your own intuition. So simply being here and listening and noticing what you notice in you, right? great ways of opening and expanding. So really, it's like a class all at the same time. All right, well, we've got three questions that have come in now. It's very exciting. We've got Gina and then Jen and then Pamela that are currently in line. So, and you'll probably get answers from several people. And since we have an astrologer in the audience tonight, in particular, if you have your great, yeah, your birth date, time and place, we put a message in there earlier, that is great. And then you'll get some information from our astrologer who will be making notes while other people are answering. All right. Well, let's see. So Gina, Gina, did you want to come on screen and ask your question or do you want me to call something out, you know, read what you wrote? Yeah, that's fine. I was just curious as to if there were any messages from my spirit family. 
Okay, great, great. All right, and we've got a practitioner in line, so we are off. Brandy, go ahead. Hi, um, so what comes through immediately for me is that I see you, so first the setting is sort of icy, but I see you um, like picking something off of a tree. It's like you're picking, 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 but you're not really getting the fruit. It's like you're, um, it's like the ice is blocking you from the lushness of the tree. So there's an idea that you're picking at and you're sort of holding it away from you. It's kind of frozen in time or frozen in an idea. Um, so your guides are saying, you know, nurture that, nourish it, give it life, unfreeze it and, 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 and you know, get some fruit off of that tree. That you have some right ideas. You're going in the right direction. Everything is on target, but you know, you're sort of stalling or maybe waiting for something else. And they're saying, you know, take the reins and do it. Great, thank you, Brandy. All right, we've got Susie in line. And then practitioners, if you can click the raise hand in the Zoom, that would be great. And then I'll know you're in line. All right, sweet. Hey, Gina. Um, what I heard as soon as you said my messages was, don't give up, keep going. Um, trust yourself and you hear messages from them too. Do you also see them in all kinds of different ways? You've got some significant images that you've been seeing. it feels like. Those are your guides talking to you and saying, hello. And so um, very, but very specifically, I heard just keep going and don't give up. Thank you. And thank you, Brandy as well. All right, and we've got Amanda in line, go ahead. Okay, hi. Um, I think I drew this for you. If you can see it. Yeah. Well, hold maybe. on, I'm poking. Let me let me make sure I get the right camera in here. So hold on a minute. I got to choose oh. your your rune camera. Okay, go ahead. I see it. Can you see it? Yep. Okay, I'm gonna explain it. So the first picture has to do with Odin. It has to do with um communication and learning and teaching and voice. Second one has to do with now having to do with um, sp being a spiritual warrior, but you're pulled in all different directions, like spiritual warrior energy going out all over the place. Probably need to spend energy on yourself. And the third one has to do with um, ancestors and spiritual inheritance. So that to me says, value what they've taught you and who you know you are, but also be yourself as an individual. Don't, um, it's okay to be completely yourself, even if you don't feel like you're connected to everybody else. Thank you. Sure. Great, and that was fun being able to see you doing that on the, right, on your, on your surface, that was great. All right, practitioners, anything else to share with Gina? Just looking and checking. All right, great. I know. Um, oh, Kara, go ahead. Hey, Gina. I'm Kara, the astrologer, and uh, I'm, I'm looking at it differently. This is kind of the message that I'm seeing, or some of the message that I'm seeing in your charts, not necessarily from an ancestor. But I see that you're very able to connect with spirit right now, in particular, maybe in the last few years, you've noticed a lot of your gifts opening up even more. Um, but I just want to uh, reiterate that for you and say, like, you actually have a lot of uh, ability to tap into some of those messages yourself. And that's probably why you're, you're here tonight is uh, activating that even more. And um, and I'm also concerned about you feeling alone right now. It's a really, really challenging time. Uh, you have your moon in Libra at a very critical point where plan all the planetary action that's causing COVID and all the stuff on the world stage is pushing on your moon in a very personal way, very uncomfortable way. Mm -hmm. And so, and your moon loves peace and harmony. And it's not, it's not in a peaceful place right now because of what's happening in the sky. So I just want to um, affirm that that's temporary. It will be shifting and changing. Um, and I think some of this is kind of getting you to say like, you know, yes, I'm, I'm calm and peaceful and I care about everybody, but sometimes I got to fight back a little bit and I got to take a stand for what it is that I, what I need and I believe. So kind of feed into that if that resonates with you and know that the conflicting people in your life are kind of trying to just stir that up in you right now. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Thanks so much, Kara. Practitioners, anything else? Checking. Great. 
Thanks so much, Gina, for your question and practitioners for sharing. All right, and then we've got a question from Jen. Jen, did you want to come up on screen? Or do you want us to read out? Where are you? There you they're are. They're a passenger in a car, so I don't know if they're going to be able to. Okay. Okay, great. Yes. It might be a little too noisy. That's great. We'll read it out. So I guess um, I'm going to pin. Tell me if this is, is this Jen? Can you tell me, Anissa? You know who it was? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's dark and noisy. Okay. I think I've got you. I just wanted people to be able to see who you are. All right. So your question is. Um, anything coming through regarding my job change or sole purpose? And we've got a birth date for, yeah, you're not in video. We've got a birth date for our astrologer. Yeah, so anything coming through regarding your job change or sole purpose? And I guess I can say a little bit about sole purpose. Let me go pin you again. Where did you go? Oh, there you are right there. Um, so from this video, um, oops, let's pin you again. Okay, for this video, for your sole purpose, I would say that you, creativity is really important to you. So freedom, creativity, pleasure, energy. You're sensitive to the environment. You probably create beauty. You care about beauty. You want things to be done really well, be elegant, beautiful. So whatever work you do, that's an important component. Um, and you, maybe um, beauty is rising up for me like more sensitive than just energy, but energy is related to that in terms of having things be beautiful. So that's the artisan talent in your eyes. And then you have something that's more social. It looks like it could be priest priestess here. That's about inspiration, vision, passion, motivation. So you have to believe in what you do. You wanna be able to make a positive difference um, and hear the impact that that difference makes. I'm trying to feel that's just, um, just this one photo. Um, yeah, so chances are you do something with people. Um, you do something to make a difference for people or the earth. There's some, there's some mission related to what you do. I mean, it could be something in marketing, but where you're, you're uplifting a company, um, something like that. So those are, those are my guesses. I'd have to hear a little more from you to, to really know. All right, great. And we've got, oh, oh we've got, wait, we just, we just stopped and parked. So <laughs> kind That's of good cool. timing. <laughs> so I don't know. Did you hear that a little bit? So I'm almost I, a little yes. bit. Yeah, I'm also a little bit more sage than priest at the moment. So sage is the one that, that's also extroverted, but it's about community, um, a group like playfulness and fun and having everyone be connected together and having a good time. Yeah. Does that make mm -hmm. sense? Yeah, totally. But, yeah. So creativity and communication are like t playfulness, big things in terms of okay, your purpose. Thank you. You are very welcome. All right, great. So it's artisan and sage, the talents. All right, practitioners, <laughs> who wants to share? We've got Stephanie and then Amanda. Stephanie, go ahead. When you when I when you scrolled your question, the angels kind of jumped on it, and there's a deck called Life Purpose from Doreen Virtue, and mm -hmm. she has animals, and the animal that's pictured here mm -hmm. in this card is a tiger, but I get more feline, I get more cat, I get more um, um, courageous, and it says you understand the nature of animals in a very strong way. I'm also reminded to let you know about Archangel Ariel. Archangel Ariel is the nature area. And I think Lorelai touched on it. You feel comfortable outdoors. You feel comfortable around people. You feel comfortable in interactions. And the reminder I think that comes from the cat card is to um, be independent of the good opinion of others is, is kind of the way to say it. <laughs> cats don't care what you think. Cats yeah. have no, uh, I mean, they go and do their own thing. Mm -hmm. They don't let life get them down. If they react, they react very strongly. And then minutes later, they're kind of licking themselves and taking care of themselves and self-soothing. And that's what needs to happen is that you need to care for yourself, not care about so much about what other people think and people pleasing, which I think has been a pattern of yours. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Thank you. All right, great. And then we've got Amanda, then Brandy, and then Alethea. Oh. All right, can you, can you bring the, is the rune cam visible? Can you see it? Oh gosh. Yep, I see it. Oh, wait, there we go. Okay, it's this one. Um, the first thing that I got on this was Burkhana, which has to do with sanctuary and being quiet 
and it's also the mother rune. And I also got Yera, which is patience. So it's, I was thinking that you aren't going to have any changes right now. You're going to have to probably wait a little bit, but just be patient about it. But I'm also seeing something mother related, like maybe now is a good time to either work out stuff between you and your mom or mother yourself. And then that, if you do that now, then you're going to have creativity from that energy that you've released. And that's going to help start your idea for your next project. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay, great. Let's unpin the room cam. We've got um, Brandy Alethea next in line. Hi. So, you know, I'm sort of still wondering why I raised my hand because there's a lot going on with you and there's, <laughs> it's kind of hard to identify, yeah. but one thing I really feel first, a lot of pressure across your head right here. So mm -hmm. what that tells me is it feels like there's this, um, okay, I'm hearing psychic, I'm hearing cosmic landslide about to occur. Like you've been doing, it feels like a lot of um, maybe observing. I don't want to say study, but mm -hmm. observing of things. Mm -hmm. And you're having a sort of a change, like almost um, almost a uh, fundamental core change. And so it's got you curious on something. And so it just feels like that curiosity is going to lead to some sort of a landslide in your perception of where you are. So I do see a lot of change coming up for you. I see a lot of positive. Um, I also want to say that your energy is very pure. There's a level to you that carries a very divine essence and that really comes through. And I just wanted to share that with you. Thank you. Yeah, blessings. Yeah, it's great. I totally agree. All right, Alethea. Hi, Jen. So Hi. Ask you, how old are you? 41. Okay, so you are right in the middle of the shift. So all the crap that is happening is actually your divine discontent inviting you to step into your power. And it's all the things that everyone has mentioned that is the timing. This is like the perfect timing right now. And everybody goes through this point in their life. It is reorientation. It's looking at what was. And so I've been picking up uh, something with your mom that needs to be resolved, healed of something for you to be able to reorient and move forward into your future that everyone has been talking about that it's like on the edge, you're on the edge, but for you to move forward, there's something in the background that needs to be adjusted first. So okay. that you can be your authentic self to move forward without some big anchor tied around your ankle sort of thing. Sure, yeah. So thank you. You are right on schedule. Okay, <laughs> thank you, I appreciate it. Great practitioners, thank you so much. All right, and let's see. So maybe, um, I know Kara, I don't know if you have anything you wanna share. I know we're gonna watch timing on everybody who you might want to. Um, a few people are new, just before you go, I say a few people are new and they're asking some questions. So after Kara goes, and I'll explain a little of how the fair works. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Kara, go ahead. Hey, hi, Jen. I'm Kara, the astrologer. Hi. Thanks for sharing your birth date with us. Um, a couple things I noticed is that you're in Aries and your Mars is in Aries. So you're somebody that wants to go, 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 get stuff done. Your, your Mars is also opposite Pluto. So you have a lot of energy, like a lot, <laughs> out, right? Like frenetic, you vibrate on a different frequency. And this is a really hard time for people like you because Mars in the sky right now, it's retrograding. So yeah. especially for people that want to go, 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 move, 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 you're especially impacted. You're very personally impacted because everything is stalled right now for everybody for a few months. Things are just sure. not supposed to revisit and rethink. So that's one thing that's going on. So just like, no, that's part of it. Um, I also see you're kind of in a longer term like a longer cycle of like getting a new vision and it's going to be unclear for a while so as you're looking at you know job changes and all of that you, you might do you might do something different for a while but I think that the bigger vision is going to take a little bit longer for it to come through um, okay. it's kind of an age thing um 41 42 so it's natural all your friends are probably going through that a little bit as well um but yeah but I see there's just there's the timing is just a little bit out of sync. So just be patient with yourself and use the time to really dig into what do I value? What are my ideals? What do I, you know, it's really more of a dream period than a 
than a get stuff done and make big change period. Um, okay. So Limit you, but that's that's what I see in a quick few minutes of looking at your chart. Sure, thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks. Great. Thanks so much, Jen, for your question, and thank you. Oh, so thank you, guys. Practitioner for answering. Yeah, happy to. It's great. We all get to learn and explore together. So let me say a little bit about the fair before I go into the next question. So this is the MeWe Metaphysics and Wellness Fair for Energizing Body, Mind, Heart, and Soul. We have about 12 practitioners, I think, with us tonight. So we did a little introduction earlier, and you're getting to hear samples from us right now. We are answering questions from the audience. We've got probably six more people in line, so we probably seven more people in line or six. We can't take any more questions tonight. We probably won't get to all of them, but we'll do that for another 15 minutes or so. And then we're gonna split up into breakout rooms. All the practitioners will be in breakout rooms. They'll be offering free talks this evening. You can see the list of practitioners and the list of all the free talks at jointhefair.com. That's the page on our website where you probably got here. Instead of clicking the button this time though, just scroll down and you'll see the flyer and then the talks underneath. We'll also be posting that information in the chat. When you're in the different rooms, and you can go from room to room all night, maybe we'll start at like five minutes after since I'm sharing a little bit now, but you can go from room to room throughout the night. We'll be um, helping direct you from room to room. You'll come out, you'll we'll have a conversation with you, you'll say where you want to go, you might look at the flyer to figure that out or talk with us, and then um, you'll get to move around and listen to different talks and talk with practitioners. If you want to do a private session, um, many of the practitioners are doing private sessions tonight. Some of us are simply selling them now to do later, and almost all of us offer our work at a discount tonight, so you can get um, smaller sessions or less expensive sessions with us tonight. Um, better price on sessions. It's a great way for us to meet you and for you to get to know us and to work with us. All right, so we're gonna go back to the next question on the panel. Um, let's see. So Pamela has a question. Um, did you want me to read or do you wanna share? Where's Pamela? Um, the one. Um, I'm Pamela, um, 10568, just had a birthday on Monday. Um, I was born in Southfield, Michigan at 9.22 p.m. Um, I just turned 52. Um, I am in a legal marriage. Um, and I have a, a just turned 14-year-old autistic son that I've been home raising. And I just feel like I am I'm not in the right relationship. I'm like, where's my soulmate? I just feel like, what's going on with my love life? I want a relationship. I want like a real marriage. Um, this started off 17 years ago as a marriage. And then we got so involved with our son that we just disconnected over the years. And I'm just alone and lonely. I'm living in the house with these people, but it's like, we're just around each other. And I just, I, I believe my soulmate is out there. I don't know who he is. I, oh, sorry, guys. I just, I don't know. I'm not sure Yeah. what's great. going on. All right. Well, let's see what, what comments some of us have. I know. So Amanda and I, you've, you and I have shared already. So let's see if anyone else has anything they want to share first. Uh, your question, yeah, what's going on in your relationships and where's your soulmate? see if anyone else has anything to share oh brandy's got something i know we've all shared so let's see if anyone else practitioners any of you that haven't shared if you want to jump up and get to the front of the line totally up to you <laughs> or we'll, we'll go it's cool okay well so brandy go ahead and then, oh, Amanda, and then me and we'll share unless someone else wants to jump in oh when i just have a quick question before brandy starts um what's your yeah. son's name and how old is he his name is Stevie, and he is, he just turned 14, September 22nd. That's great. And actually, so Wendella, if you're ready, why don't you go first, since I'm, you, might, you haven't shared as much yet. Hi, Pamela. When I first sent, I'm a little bit, um, I have a little bit of hoarse throat, so you have to excuse my voice. But um, when I first vibed into your energy, it really felt like you were disconnected from yourself. Like it feels like you're human and your spirit are in two different places. And, and I think that's kind of what's causing some of the imbalance. And what, what's really needed is to connect to your spirit more. Okay. Because all of these questions can be answered by you, but connecting to your spirit gives you more of that, that information. Does that make sense? Connecting to spirit? Mm -hmm. um, because there's a lot of dis, there's a lot of disconnect going on when I 
look into you. And I'm also seeing that you're disconnected with your life too. And, and some of that you verbalized as well, but I really feel you're disconnected. Like you've given up things you, you really sacrificed. Um, and there's a lot of resentment there as well. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you really want to reconnect with who you are and some of that. And I I'm probably a little bit trite that I say this a lot, but meditation is one of the best ways to connect back to yourself. Um, and start asking your soul these questions. Okay. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. And I'm just going to keep this real short because I know other people want to go, but I, ho I hope you get there, sweetie. <laughs> I hope so. Oops. Hi, everyone. I'm just having a little problem with my computer over here. So hopefully I get that all figured out. But, um, all right, let's see. So we've got Brandy and then Amanda had wanted to share. Go ahead, Brandy and then Amanda. Sorry, we've got so, other people in line first now. I suddenly see, sorry, I'm telling you to go and then wait. We've got Galactic Ashley and then Alethea in line too. So sorry, let's Galactic Ashley and then Alethea first. Oh, one thing, can I add? Sure, go ahead, it's brief, go ahead. I, I didn't know, I, I was um, involved with a female and I thought that we were pop, that was possibly my soulmate, but we turned out to be friends, more friends. But somewhere in my spirit, I believe that this soulmate is male or like identifies as man, a man. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not laughing at you, but I'm laughing at two things that are going on right now. One, I'm coughing and I can't stop and I don't know why. Um, and then two, and this goes with the disconnection thing is all of a sudden, like my cord is plugged into the computer, but I'm getting the red thing. Like my computer is about to die. So I had to jump up and plug it back in. <clears throat> and that kind of goes on what Wendella was saying, but I think what was happening is that there's a part of you that was going into self-protective mode. And so you're wanting to connect with yourself, but instead you just unplugged. And so it's like, you have the plug mm -hmm. in your hand, just plug it back into your heart because I feel like, I think that you are feeling that maybe somebody is coming for you um, and that's okay. But I also feel like one, these are really exhausting times for, for you. Two, you are super exhausted. Three, it's okay to take a break and to nurture yourself and to plug the cord back into you. And, and, I, um, and then when I was tuning into a soulmate, who and however they identify doesn't not important um i really feel like um that there is a part of you that may be sort of fizzled out which would be totally normal um raising stevie right but i feel like there's a little bit more juice in there and some fire and that i feel that this person is actually going to come through connecting with stevie like they're also going to be passionate about this the, about like autism and neurodiversity and somebody else in the group also talked about neurodiversity and these are going to be really big topics that are going to be coming up and they're super important but they're going to be treated in a different way than they've been treated before and I feel like this person that you're going to be connecting with will be looking at neurodiversity with a different level and so you can up level with this person with your child like all together but first you got to take the plug and pl plug it into your heart so I do think there's good things but like take just sleep or like to the best of like self-care that you can did you say sleep yeah like try oh. and like self-care very little yeah it just it feels like it feels and i understand like with with everything that's going on this year with um um like racism with raising your son with with being um female and just like balancing everything um, the divine feminine is coming out and, and the coughing part. It's like, there's a part of you that needs to use your voice, but rest it first. And then you will speak. And when you speak, they will come. Thank you. All right. Let's see. So then we have Alethea and um, yeah. So Alethea next. I'm a little, my dear. So what grand on what side, what grandparent do you uh, identify with or that you feel most connected to? Um, all of my grandparents have passed. That's okay. Which one do you feel like um, you have probably, heart connection? My, probably my dad's mom. Your dad's mom. Uh huh. Do you know anything about her story? Her um, she was. She 
married my grandfather. Um, my dad was the first of 10 children. Um, they were from the South and they moved to Detroit or Southfield, Michigan, or Detroit actually. And um, she did a lot of designing and creativity and sewing, which I do. Okay, that, so the reason why I ask is, is often times, because I work in family constellations and that is the repeated patterns from generation to generation. And oftentimes our, uh, our spouses, our lifestyle has a lot to do with our attachments, how we're connected to our parents, how our parents are connected to their parents. And we can uh, identify with a grandparent and some of their life story. Perhaps there is a pattern of uh, the women in your family lineage that sacrifice themselves on behalf of taking care of everybody else but themselves. And that is a typical pattern that women are uh, trained uh, by culture to be that way. Um, I am also wondering uh, the, the, your choice in a husband presently also adds to that pattern of not feeling fulfilled. So here's some homework for you is go back and ask some of your relatives about some of the stories, especially the women who maybe just sacrificed themselves to the point that they exhausted themselves. And because culturally women are not allowed to take time for themselves to rejuvenate, it's just give, 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 give till you fall over in a big heap. So I would say there's probably some repeated pattern going on in your family system. So just like what everyone is saying, take time for yourself. This is an indication that um, this has a long established pattern of not taking care of yourself, your mom, your grandma on both sides. And what happens is that when we don't take care of ourselves, we can't do our work in the world. We um, burn ourselves out and then we become not necessarily what we came here to do. I'll just say that. Okay. Because you have lots and lots and lots of stuff to do with your big heart and you want to give so much and Give yourself permission to take a rest right now. Thank okay. You. Thank you. By the way, I put a link in the chat to a panel that we did on special kids where we addressed some of the different things um, just for your child. And then also Kat asked a question about that. Um, I think the second half of the talk, we spent a lot of time on that, a lot of time in the panel. Um, Let's see, so we've got a few of us in line still, and then practitioners are gonna have us all do really quick introductions again when we're done. So actually we had, Susie had been in line. Susie, did you wanna share? And I know Satora is in line. So Susie, if you want yeah, to- Yeah, yeah, I can. I, I made notes, so it wasn't gonna be very big, but first off, Pamela, um, thank you for taking on the big job of handling, of, of raising a child who is special needs. It takes a special soul to come together to, um, to do that. Um, I'd also like you to understand that a soulmate's not going to be your savior, but they will uplift you. Um, whoever said that it was, I, I apologize for not remembering who actually said it, that your soulmate's going to come as a result of Stevie. But as he brought you and the father together, yeah, he's going to kind of pull you apart because you're so focused on taking care of him. Um, but I agree with everybody else. You need to come back to yourself and find out who you are. Um, yeah, before you can be ready to, to take on and find the other, your, your soulmate. And Susie, you've met Stevie. We've met you. We tried to do a reading with him. Oh, and mm -hmm. oh okay. That's me and Stevie. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you for reminding me, Pamela. Total mm -hmm. brain fart there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Yeah. You're, I, I'm tuning in and, and seeing that He's that grown up a lot since then. He has. Oh, cool. 
Cool. Well, the soulmate's not ready yet. Y'all aren't ready for him. So take that time, Pamela, to, to come back to yourself. And yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Is he not ready for us or we're not ready for him? I think I'm just getting basically that he's not ready. There's some pieces in his life that need to shift. And this divine alignment hasn't happened yet. You and Stevie are definitely in divine alignment with each other. But, but the soul, the soulmate is got a few more pieces of, of his life to get together. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming and seeing us. Thank you. You're welcome. Great. All right. So I want some other practitioners to have a chance to share too. So we've got Satora in line. Satora, you just put, but Satora is going to go next. And then um, we'll have quickly from um, Amanda and Brandy and then Carol get to share at the end. And then all the practitioners will do a quick introduction again before we go into breakout rooms. Satora, did you want to share? Yeah. Uh, hi, Pamela. Thank you so much for asking the question. Um, I have a short message that's very much in line with what everybody else said so far is you, you don't need to wait for happiness until you get Oh, Satori. And gonna... you can actually. Huh? You, cut it, you cut out briefly. So go ahead. Keep going. Okay. I, 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 I don't need to wait for happiness. And then you cut out. <laughs> oh, you, you don't need to wait for happiness until you meet your soulmate. You can give yourself love now. There's, there's so much love in you and so much love available. And you can actually do a practice. And if you wish, tell yourself, I love you. Talk to your heart. I love you. I love you. I love you. And, and take care of yourself. And by loving yourself you open up your heart and by opening up your heart you receive more and more love from life from your environment from your child and you are more open to receiving and welcoming your soulmate too great thank you yeah that's great i love this mm -hmm. all right so go ahead um, amanda and then brandy and then kara Okay. Hi. Um, this was a picture that I drew for you when you were talking. Wait, gosh, darn it. Okay. Do you see the triangle? I can't see. Oh, Laura, I see the papers. Is it up top? No, it's on the, um, the edge of the papers. Yeah. It's like a room. Oh, it's showing right? in the middle of our screen. So can you move it around on your phone at all? Like, is your phone uh -huh. see if you're focused on anything on your phone? You have to make sure you're looking at the rune cam. Oh, yeah. Yes. Don't look at gotcha. Amanda. Look at the rune cam. Yes. Robin. <laughs> Thank right. you. Yeah. Okay. So see it? So this yeah. is what I drew for you when you were talking. Um, the, first, the thing that really caught my eye was the spiral between Wunjo and Hagalaz. So that to me says, you're really not having any fun. You used to be a fun loving person and you're just not having fun anymore. And that's what will I, I feel like that's going to help really shift you into the next step of things like remember like what makes you laugh remember what makes you smile throw something into the garbage can try to get points for it <laughs> do like random stuff that's fun just to put you into that joyful frame of mind and that joyful like space because I feel like that's going to help you shift and you said you sew and that's really funny because I started making like uh hoodoo dollies lately and you can have a lot of fun sewing them. I think you would actually like it if you looked into the whole, that whole thing. We can kind of see them. Did you want to show us on the screen? Because we can kind no, of see I'm them. Like conflicted. OK, right, here we go. Oh, no, just hold it up sideways because we're, I'm already on your screen again. Aww. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, how cute. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, until you see the mouth. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's a good thing I'm a person. OK, all right. <laughs> That's so, it. Brandy and then Kara. I love it. Thank you. Thank you, Amanda. <laughs> okay. Um, so um, thoughts have sort of been swirling. I'm really in agreement with a lot of different aspects of a lot of things. Um, but notably too, in the beginning, when, when we were talking about how you're sort of, um, I don't, I don't want to use the same word, but you're sort of, you're, you're, you're not communicating your upper chakras to your lower. 
So your love center is coming from your mouth. Like, I want this, I want this, I'm seeking this, I want this. But what, what we want to do is we want it to get it to your eyes. We want your love to your eyes and into your body so that you welcome every aspect of you. You welcome the person coming into your life as wanting all that you have to offer. Every aspect, you with everything that you have. It's like, you don't want to just put the, the, you know, you don't want to dress up one window of a house and then just have your picture taken out that window and then sell it as this is what my whole house looks like, right? You want to offer everything. So everything the same. So we want all of you, all of your heart in your body, loving every bit of what it is that makes up you, but feeling that down to the heart, not just through the words. So when you radiate love through every fiber of your being, then you're going to attract somebody who is a vibrational match, who is a love match for you. But we want to get your love into the rest of your body, not just, not just talking about it. We want you to feel it, okay? And that's what I see. Thank you so much, Brandy. All right, we've got Kara. Kara, are you ready? I was, sorry, I was, I was talking, but my mute button didn't apparently push all the way. Hi, Pamela, I'm Kara, I'm the astrologer. And um, I'm gonna try to say a lot in a really short period of time. So take notes, because <laughs> I'm gonna go fast. Um, one, your son is so, so, so important in your chart. I mean, he's, he's a big part of the reason why you incarnated. So I want you to know that he stimulates so much in you. He's here to show you your freedom, your independence, your amazing creativity. His presence in your life opens up so much for you. You're also a communicator. You may write a book that involves your son or your experience uh, with your son or healing things that relate to your son. So I want to put that on your radar if that's not already in your world. Um, your son could also stimulate relationship changes for you and it, in a helpful way. It might not feel like it's in a helpful way, but he's actually really helping and guiding that process for you. And he can, I think he can see that you are person of depth. You can connect really easily and deeply, you go really, you know, really um, into it with folks, but you can also overserve. I heard that a little bit and some of the other things people will say. So I think he's kind of a protector for you and like, hey, if mom gets a little too um, tied into someone that's not allowing her to really feel her freedom or feel her passion, her creativity, you know, he's kind of, his energy is involved in shifting that and shaping that for you um, in a really, a really positive way. Um, there is some loneliness highlighted right now in the chart. It's temporary. It's, it, you actually, outside of that, you actually have some really powerful, helpful transits. Um, all the things that are causing COVID are causing a lot of challenges for people, but you're actually experiencing, experiencing it in a very powerful way. And when I look, I use some uh, uh, prediction techniques. Um, this birthday that you're having right now is actually setting off a year of fun and play and romance. Um, so it might, I'm not saying that it's the one that's coming in, but you're gonna have lots of possibilities, lots of opportunity to um, play and enjoy yourself and have a passionate life and experience. And that of course may in turn lead to finding the one. So it's a really powerful year. And actually I can see it from several different angles uh, play and passion are highlighted. So, um, so just root into that, know that, and yeah, just get your creativity on. Your, your guy might be kind of an intense guy, but also a little carefree and proper adventure. You need somebody that loves to talk ideas and explore the world. And so uh, be looking out for someone that, that has that kind of open adventure spirit, but can also really go deep and have those, those personal uh, conversations with you. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Great. Pamela, thank you for being available for all of this from so many practitioners. Thank you, practitioners. All right. Well, we had some questions from other people that we're not going to get to. So Sharon, Sarah, Monet, Monette, Kimberly, and Kat. Sorry, we don't have time to answer right now. When you go around to the rooms and chat with different practitioners, you might be able to get some feedback from them. And as we've discussed, many of us are available for sessions and we will be having another fair next weekend on the 18th. So come back and maybe we get your question in then. I think we did that last time. Someone that didn't get in, we put right up to the front of the list. So come on back. All right. Well, so since so many people joined, since we, I think probably two or three times as many people have joined since we've been um, doing the intuitive panel, I'm going to have the practitioners go through and do really quick introductions again so you can hear who's here. 
So practitioners, maybe just like 30, 45 seconds or so, pretty briefly. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna split up um, into breakout rooms. Every practitioner is gonna have their own breakout room and we will put you into the practitioner breakout room of your choice. You'll be able to go in as long as you want, as short as you want. You'll be able to come back out into the main room and we'll just move you from room to room. We also have session rooms. So if you wanna do a session with a practitioner, um, you'll both let us know and we'll put you in a private session room. In the practitioner rooms, um, basically everything's going to be for free if they, some of them will take donations, but it's, it's a group room. So people will be coming in and out the whole time. And we'll say more about that when we get started, but let's go through and just have the practitioners introduce themselves. So again, practitioners, just 30, 45 seconds and let's, um, we'll go ahead and we'll start at the, let's start at the bottom of the list this time. Um, all right, so we've got Wendella and then Susie and then Stephanie. Go ahead. I'm the bottom of the list. Well, you're the brilliant W that's at the bottom. You are. I'm the bottom of the barrel. Okay, so uh -huh. my name is Wendella. I'm a psychic medium. I'm an evidential, I always forget to throw that in. I'm an evidential psychic medium. It's a little different. We bring bits and pieces of evidence through uh, that life has continued after death. I'm very hoarse. Um, I had COVID and then we had wildfires. So <clears throat> breathing is been optional lately. Um, uh, I run a developmental um, workshop for beginning psychics and mediumship uh, weekly. It's ongoing on Wednesdays and Saturdays. I'm co-author of a book called The Last Breath, which is uh, 40 different, 48 different people from around the world and their stories of true mediumship. Uh, that's a number one bestseller in self-help in on Amazon right now. I'm also an author of an oracle deck called the Random Oracle. And I'm offering readings tonight for 30 minutes for the $45, which is $30 off the regular price. And I'm available for questions and to hoarsely answer whatever you want me to answer. <laughs> yeah, but thank you for coming. Thanks so much, Wendella, who's at the beginning of the list. Then we have Susie and Stephanie and then Satora. Wendella, who's tops on our list. Come on, honey. <laughs> okay. My name is Susie Parker Goins and I am Blue Lightning Healing. I am a channel, so guides come through to talk to you. They come through me to talk to you so you can establish a relationship with them and work with them on your own as you need to. I'm an energy healer. I'm a past life explorer and um, healer with that. I have a podcast that airs two times a week called Blue Lightning Healing Meditations, where Thursdays I talk about a topic. And the following Monday is a meditation that's relevant to it. It's on um, it's on Amazon and anchor.fm is the, the jumping off point. I have a YouTube channel. Um, I'm doing two talks tonight about spirit guides and energy cords, and I'm looking forward to talking to more of y'all tonight. Thanks. Thanks so much, Susie. And let's see, so we're gonna have Stephanie and then Wyatt is here and then Satora. So Stephanie, Wyatt, and then Satora. We're doing 30, 45 second intros. I'd like to thank everyone for joining us tonight. It's been a phenomenal fair so far. And as always, I've learned a tremendous amount. I'm Dr. Stephanie Stanfield. I have a PhD in energy medicine and a doctorate of theology and spiritual counseling. I'm a Reiki master. I also do angel card readings. I'm doing a talk tonight about healing with the angels. And I chose Archangel Raphael because he is the healing angel. He had me draw two cards. So I am well prepared to do my talk tonight present moment, ready to go. I'm offering readings tonight at about a dollar a minute. So it's $20 for a 20 minute reading. Thank you all for coming. <laughs> Thanks so much, Stephanie. All right, Wyatt, if you are ready and go ahead and take a minute since it's your first intro tonight and then Satora and then me. All right. Hi, everyone. Sorry, I'm a little bit late. Um, my name is Wyatt Larson. I am a shamanism practitioner and spiritual life coach with the Wildwood Hollow. Um, basically, I work with the spiritual forces and or the ancient spiritual forces of shamanism and the current modern techniques of life coaching to help you begin and continue your path of healing. I have two talks tonight. I am doing talks with a shaman. I am talking specifically about abundance and the abundance mindset tonight. And then I will also be doing a talk with Galactic Ashley with our Crystal Skulls and talking about Ascension. So come on over. I look forward to meeting you all and 
again. Yeah, I'm Wyatt with the Wildwood Hollow. So let's have fun tonight. Great, thanks so much, Wyatt. All right, we've got Satora, then myself, and then Galactic Ashley. Satora, are you here? I know Satora's on internet on her phone, so let's just see. Yeah, I don't see her at the moment. Okay, let's see, I'll go ahead and share, and then when she comes back, and then after that, it'll be Galactic Ashley and then Donna. So I'm Lorelai Shimayo. I'm an intuitive eye reader. I'm also a body psychology coach and I'm a matchmaker. I think that we all read eyes, but we don't realize what we see. I interpret what I see as a set of archetypes that looks at your natural talents, what motivates you, how you most easily communicate, protect yourself, and also your lessons, your worldview. So I'm able to read your soul and answer questions about life, leadership, love, career path, matchmaking, all kinds of things. And then you can show me photos of other people as well and I can share about them and relationships. Lorelai Shimayo, and I'm going to be helping run the fair for a while, and then I'll be available for sessions and maybe a talk later. All right. Let's see. Um, so, Satora, if you are available, you can go Let's see if you're here. And then, okay, so Galactic Ashley, Donna, and then Kara. Hi, I'm Galactic Ashley. I channel divine guidance for star seeds, connecting them to their star families and galactic lineages. I use light language frequencies and work with your cosmic connections to facilitate high frequency healing transmissions and encoded activations. So come hang out in my room tonight and talk about my upcoming galactic guided intensive called Sovereignty and the Sacred Art of Channeling. It's nine weeks long. It starts in two weeks. And um, the event special is that I will be offering a 10% off um, discount code. And then I have a few other discounts for um, a solar heart dragon activation um, and then tonight i will be doing two talks uh, one is a channeled experience with light language and a healing transmission and then i'll also be working with shaman wyatt larson from the wildwood hollow with our uh, crystal skulls for our ascension talks and that'll be the last hour of the night and it'll be really fun so come um, hang out with us and find out more and get your galactic groove on Thank you, Galactic Ashley. All right, we've got Donna, then Kara, and then Brandy. Hi, everybody. Um, my name is Dr. Donna Sauer. I have a PhD in biology, a master's in zoology. I taught sciences, uh, medical sciences for 30 years. I have a Reiki master and I studied Lakota healing um, uh, traditions. Um, what I do is to do uh, energy healing uh, with animals. I also do communication with them. Um, I do mediumship for pets that have crossed over um, and especially uh, for the divine purpose of the pet with you, uh, even if they've already crossed over. Um, tonight's talk is gonna be on healing modalities for rescue and traumatized pets. And uh, that'll be at 7.15. I'll be giving many uh, readings in, in my breakout room uh, by donation. And if you want to have a, a full session, we can do that. And or you can sign up for session after uh, later in the week. Uh, those are $40. Thank you and hope to see you all. Thanks, Donna. All right, we've got um, Kara. Kara is ready. And then Brandy and then Amanda. Hi everybody, I'm Kara James. I'm an intuitive astrologer in Portland, Oregon, and I love, love, love astrology, and I'm happy to be here sharing it with you tonight. I think it is one of the best ways to understand who we are, why we've incarnated, what's our whole storyline been, what we're working on now, what's activating us now so that we can really grow and dig deep and do scary, scary things in the world uh, for ourselves and for, for others' uh, growth. So um, anyway, love astrology. I'm doing four talks tonight. Um, one is about what the bleep is going on. Just talking about the astrology of the year. If you haven't, you know, figured out what's going on, just talk a little bit about that and a little bit of what's to come. I'm going to talk about your moon sign and phase. We're going to talk about self-care and just ways to kind of uh, understand more about ourselves through the moon. I'm going to talk about Trump and Biden's charts and what's going on with the energy of the election from an astrological standpoint, and then just have a 
a time where we just talk about whatever you want to talk about. So uh, that's what I'm doing here tonight. Uh, Kara James uh, in Portland. And I'm also going to put my little uh, code here in the box. I'm offering $30 off a future session, not tonight, but sometime in the future. Um, I do 30, excuse me, 60, 90 and uh, minute sessions and two hour sessions. And uh, it has to be used though in the next 24 hours. You have to book uh, now for a later date. So thank you. Thanks, Kara. All right, then we've got um, Brandy and then Amanda and then Alethea. Hi, my name is Brandy Roberts and I'm an Oracle and I'm psychic and I'm a Reiki master. And sometimes it's a little hard to kind of define what I do, but I read everything about you. So like what you say, what you don't say, your mannerisms, if I'm looking at you, um, often it's easier to not look directly at you and just sort of hear the vibrations that you send out because language carries vibrations and truth and resonance to a body also resonates at certain vibrations. So I read that and how that looks is in a conversation, we'll sort of talk about um, what it is that you bring up and what it is that I discover that's a little bit has you, um, you know, behaving a little bit different than how you really perceive that you want to. And those are the types of things that I help people with. And then we do energy work and healings in the process and sort of help you get back on track to being your authentic self. Um, and I work by donation only. Thank you. Blessings. Thanks, Brandy. All right. So next we've got um, Amanda and then Alethea and then Satora if Satora is back. Hi, I'm Amanda of snowmoontarot.com. This is Phil. He's trying to keep me on track. Um, I read runes. I read a lot of different things. And Brandy, I'm glad you said this because I have a nervous breakdown every week. What do I do? How do I explain what I do and who I am? For the purposes of this fair, I read runes. I put them together in different ways to read the energy around you and between yourself and the universe. Um, I'll be giving two talks today. One is on accessing your past lives with the runes and one is just basically explaining what runes are and how to work with them. Thanks, Amanda. All right, so I think then is it Alethea and then Satora if she's ready? Hello, I'm Alethea Devi. So I'm always interested to know about your life story and your family. And is there any repeated patterns that happened in your family history throughout the lineage? And that has a lot to do with our life experiences now, which creates our conditioned self that sometimes like if you think you're a light and it's all these layers that sort of hide your light in a way, then your authentic self is the part of you that wants to always shine and come through and support your conditioned self. When we're all working with clients that we're all dealing with uh, COVID and fires and protests and this is like the perfect time for all of this inner work to happen. Um, as a shamanic practitioner in Southern America, two traditions, uh, the Andes and the Amazon, this is the time called the Taripe Pacha, which is the time of the catching up. So all of our inner work that we're doing right now is exactly on schedule. This is the time we're supposed to be doing it. And this is why the circumstances have created this opportunity for us to do this work now as we merge into the new era. So I'm giving a talk at 6.30 and 7.30 about our authentic self and our conditioned self and how they interact, how they support each other. Thank you. All right, thank you so much. And let's see, is Satora back? Yes, sorry, uh, my internet died it's it's very wonky today don't worry go ahead you've got 35 or 30 45 seconds go ahead and introduce yourself hi i'm satora with um uh, well of love i'm an energy healer and a channel i can connect you with ascendant masters and angels they'll 
and you can ask him questions, uh, answer your questions in ways that are empowering for yourself and help you find your own inner guidance. <clears throat> I will be doing a group healing at 6.30, group healing and group channeling. And that's it. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Did you want to finish up? Say anything else? Oh, no. I thought I only had 30 seconds. Okay, so great. I, really I wanted to give you a chance to finish if you were having trouble. All right. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. So that gives you a sense of all of who's here again. And we're getting ready to split up into breakout rooms. I've updated the talks on the website. Brandy, I've got your talks in here. I moved one person's talk. I think, Wyatt, your talk starts at 645 instead of 630 now. Um, so you should be able to go to jointhefair.com and see the updated list of talks if you need to see them at any point. Um, I'm going to announce, I'll just say what's happening. I know this is a lot when I'm announcing them at once. So on um, practitioner, practitioners, one thing I want to share. So chances, uh, so if you, if you have a session or something like that, you're in the middle of a conversation, you don't have to give your talk exactly when it's scheduled. We want to be able to have text with you back and forth or come out into the main room and let us know you're really ready to give your talk. We don't want to announce, we don't want to announce it until we're confident that you're giving it then. And it's fine if you shift the timing a little bit. So please either um, Anissa will, um, uh, well, Anissa will put either my number, her number in the chat so that you can message us. And then um, she may be texting you also to confirm that you want to give your talk. So please be looking at your phone or come out into the main room and message with her and let her know that you're giving it. And then we'll announce it. So everybody um, on your screen, up at the top of your screen, you'll get a notification when talks are starting. We've got a lot happening right here at the beginning, just because we're, we're like half an hour late at this point. But um, there's so, and then we'll have talks staggered throughout the evening. All right, so text just, or Anissa just put her, her number in the chat. So please text her when you're ready to give your talk so she knows you really want to give it. And ideally give her a few minutes um, warning so that she can message everyone and you'll have people come. So as soon as, so um, participants, as soon as someone's announcing that they're giving a talk, feel free to come out into the main room and let us know that you wanna go into that room. You can go to as many talks as you want. They'll be overlapping throughout the evening. This part has all been recorded. So this part you can go back and watch again, but those are just happening when they happen. So you have to come to each fair and come several times and come to different practitioners each time. All right, well, so the first talks that are happening and they're gonna happen a little late, we're gonna have Feel Better with Angel Guidance with Stephanie what the bleep is going on this year with um, in astrology with Kara, group healing and channeling with Satora, facing fears and spirituality with Brandy, and our authentic self, our conditioned self with Alethea. So those are the ones that are gonna happen as, just about as soon as we get into the breakout rooms. If you know what breakout rooms you wanna go to now, in the chat, please write your who you wanna go see. So the, we can probably put just a list of all the practitioners. Let me go grab that right now. I'll just put their names and their modalities right here. Let's see, it might be too much at once. I'm gonna see if I can copy at least their names and they'll be right here. You might recognize them. Although it might be one big blob in the chat. Okay, there we go, get a bunch of names. So if you know where you wanna go, just start writing in the chat where you wanna go and we're gonna be taking notes and then moving you. And I can play around, maybe Anissa, if you write, since there's um, Geo hasn't done this before, Geo, you want to be looking at the admin sheet and see what we're doing right now. And Geo, if people are coming into the room, if you can admit them, that would help too, if you know how to do that in the practice in the participants tab. So I'm going to start putting people in places. And so I'm going to open the rooms. Practitioners, you're all going to go to the rooms. Uh, practitioners, people will come shortly. And if you um, if no one's in your room, come on back here to the main room. You can move back and forth. The on, for everybody on your screen on the bottom, there's breakout rooms. I think the first time we move you, it may come up with a notice, you know, go to breakout room and you can click it. Every other time throughout the fair, you're gonna have to click things on your own. So practitioners, if you wanna come back also, if anyone wants to come back to the main room on the bottom right corner on your computer, click leave, and then you'll have a choice of leave room, leave, um, I can't think of what it's called, it's basically leave the event. You don't want to leave the event. You just want to leave the room and that'll bring you out to the main room. If you're on a phone, you tap your phone or your, your tablet and the top left, I think is, um, oh no, uh, 
I don't remember exactly where the leave is on the phone, but if you want to go to a new room then on the computer, you have to click on breakout rooms and then it'll show you where you're going next. If you're on a phone or a tablet, click and on the top left, it will show you. We're here to help you in the main room and help you figure it out. All right. So I'm going to open the rooms and then I will start putting people in rooms while Anissa is still writing this down. And we're here for tech help. And all this is gonna change a little next week because Zoom has changed and you're gonna be able to choose what rooms you go to. So we're just needing to plan out a new way that this is all gonna work. So you're gonna have much more freedom and many more of you will be easily able to move around from room to room. All right, here we go. Okay, they're opening and Anissa, I will start putting people in right now before I give you um, before I give you the, um, the host. Sounds great. Goodness, there's just so many people now. This is like wild and crazy. All right. Uh, okay. I'm starting to move you. Okay, so I just moved Robin. And now I'm going to move. Okay. So Kimberly, I think I'm putting you in the right spot. And then let's go find Gina. And then Linda. I'm letting you know so that if you don't get a notification, you know to go look on your device in the breakout room section. All right. Okay, Melissa is going. And Pamela, if we have several people with the same name, I'm sorry if we send you to the wrong room. Just come on back out here and let us know and we will we will get you in the right room. All right, so um, Pamela and Herschel just got moved and now Katie's gonna get moved. And now Susan is gonna get moved. Is it the right Susan? Oops, I hope I moved the right Susan, let's see. Uh, Dale is getting moved. Now look for Chelsea. And Jessica just got moved. Um, Tracy Ann, you are now moved. All right, and let's see. Yolanda, where are you? Um, okay. Ah, there's Yolanda. All right, great. You just got moved. And now Michelle has been moved and Sharon has been moved. And now Jen has been moved. All right, everyone has gone to a room. Anyone that's left here, let's see. So Tracy, I think I moved you. So you need to touch your phone. And then on the top left, in, I think it's usually in blue, you should be able to get to your room. Let's see if there's anyone else that I've assigned that's not there yet. Cheryl CB would like to go to Kara's room. Um, I think I've already moved Cheryl. So okay. she have devices. Oh no, here she is. Kara's room. Okay, great. Great. Oh, and the new person has come in. Yeah, Gio, we'll give you lessons on how all this works. And um, all right, so let's see. So iPhone, Andrea, Kat. Tina, if any of you have shared. Kat would like to go to uh, Alicia. And Tina would like to go to your breakout room, Lorelai. Oh, but Tina. I don't know so if that's just hang out with me for a few more minutes. Um, that'll be great. Oh, we've got someone else coming. All right. Yeah, we can write down on mine who that is. That'll be great. And then I'll make sure to talk with her later. OK. I think I got everybody for Kara's talk, so I'm gonna just, and I think I got everyone for Brandy. Did everyone get in there? But yeah, I can still see in the rooms where they're supposed to go, so. All right, yeah, so no one has chosen, just um, see if there are any practitioners here. No, I think this is good. Oh, the rune cam has not been moved yet. Um, could you text Amanda to let her know to get her rune cam? Okay. I moved it to a room. <laughs> I remembered to do that. Uh, Satora, is anyone in? Yeah, not yet. Okay. So I know we reordered the talks. I got to figure out what's happening with the talks. 
Satora, do you want us to just move your talk a little bit later? Um, oh, in one moment, Andrew, Andrea, did you have something you wanted to share? Andrea, do you know where you want to go? I think Sharon wanted to go somewhere too, but I thought I put her somewhere. Sharon? Andrea wants to go with me. She sent me privately. Oh, okay, great, great, great. Okay, so let me move Andrea. Oh, wait, a private room or your breakout room? Uh, breakout room. Okay. Great, there you go. Um, what was I? Oh yeah, Sharon. Did I move Sharon? Oh, I moved a Sharon, maybe not the Sharon. Sharon, if you wanted to go somewhere, let us know. All right. Okay. Oh. So she did, pri Sharon private message me wanting to know, so do we just stay here to hear the talks? And in order to hear the talks that you uh, want to go to, you have to let us know because they happen in the practitioner's breakout rooms. Um, I can do a, a list of the talks that are probably happening any moment now or starting. I, we're going to move um, Satora's talk probably to another time. Okay. So, yes. Yes, Satora. So is, you're is, there, is there any time where there's not a whole bunch of other talks going on? Only in the, the late part. I mean, there are talks going, there are, there are a whole bunch right now. So that's why I would just, there aren't as many, there are two scheduled at seven. So yours currently are at 745 and it was gonna be now. Yeah, I, so, I, I definitely don't wanna do the second one because that's gonna get really late. Really late. So what do you, so if, so you want me to try to, I mean, I can move things up. Like we could say, I, I just don't know what you wanna do. I don't know how long yours are. Because you have you have group healing and channeling, and then you have the Jinsha and Tara energy healing. Do you want to give just one of them, or what do you want to? Yeah. Which one? Um, the first one. So group healing and group healing and channeling. Yeah. Okay. So and I'll put you at seven. Does that sound? Okay. Although. I don't know. Um, the other things going on at that time, though, light language healing and channel messages with Galactic Ashley, and what your moon sign and phase say about you. Oh no. Okay. Or seven fifteen maybe. That's energy healing modalities for rescue and traumatized pets and energy cords with Susie Goins. So I put you there at seven fifteen. Okay. That seem okay? All right. Okay, and I'll take off your last talk. Okay, great. So yeah, so Sharon or Moon or Laura or Joy. Sharon I would like to go to Amanda's room, please. Okay, great, thank you. Oh, wait, just a, oh. Sharon, yeah, Sharon, Amanda's room. Okay, great. And then Joy and wants to get into Kara's room. Doesn't the room cam, rune cam need the to room go? The cam needs to get there, but we need Amanda to move it. So that's why, have we texted her? I mean, I did. her phone up there, though, is the problem. Yeah. If, if, can I put you in there to, to tell her? Yep. Um, okay, let me go figure out moving you. <laughs> okay, Amanda's room. There you go. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> So Gio, the only the host is the one that can move everyone around. I noticed that because I, I can't figure out how to do it. <laughs> no. Okay. So anyone else would like to go to anyone's rooms or chat with Satora, for example. Satora is right here and she does <laughs> channeling and energy healing and she teaches you tools to do energy healing with yourself. Yeah, can you put me in my room? I can. You can you can click yourself to oh, you came back in, so I have to put you in again. Let me assign you to your room. Um, feel free to stay here though until someone's there and then um because stay out here and then we'll find out who wants to go into your room with you all right and this is back hi mona Let's see if mona's on mona may not be on audio yet 
Hey, Nissa, did that? Oh, she got her rune cam. Okay, great. Yep. <laughs> great. Hi, Mona. I don't know if you can hear us. Yeah, I don't see Mona's on audio yet. So Moon or Tina. Uh, so Tina, I'm happy to chat with you about my eye readings in just a moment if you want to do that. But um, hi, Wendella. Great. So we've got Wendella and um, so maybe Satora has gone to her room. Wendella's here. She's a psychic medium. And if you, oh, let me see. I mean, okay, yeah, I'm trying to see if anyone else. So Wendell is here and available, a psychic medium, if you'd like to connect with her. And we have more people joining the room. So Gio, part of what we have to do is introduce people when they come in so they know what's going on. Um, and then, right, sometimes it's people that have been here and know their way around and sometimes not. So I, I know how to let them in. What do you mean by? Well, on, Gio. Thank you, Sonia, for joining us. This is the MeWe Metaphysical and Wellness Fair for Energizing Body, Mind, Heart, and Soul. It's a little quiet here in this main room at the moment because we just put everyone in breakout rooms. We have about 12 practitioners here today offering free talks and chatting about their work. For example, we have Wendella here right now in the main room. She's a medium. She's happy to go into a breakout room and chat with you about her work and tell you about how her sessions work and how mediumship works, et cetera. And we have a number of talks happening right now as well. We've got Feel Better with Angel Guidance, What the Bleep is Going On This Year, Astrology, Facing Fears and Spirituality, and Our Authentic Self, Our Conditioned Self. If any of those are of interest to you, we can move you to those talks. And then also, you can see information about all of our practitioners at jointhefair.com. If you go to that on the web, there's a flyer with all the practitioners and there's a the listing of the talks, which is almost correct at the moment. I'm going to put a link in the chat too. If you want to see the, the flyer, here's the link right in the chat in just a moment. There we go. So yeah, you can just click on the link in the chat and then it'll take you to the jointhefair.com page. So Geo, that's a bunch of different things that I share when someone joins and if they start chatting with us and yeah, Sonia, feel free to unmute and, and ask us questions or tell us what you'd like to do or write in the chat. So Geo, I attempt to just give them some context. I don't recognize Sonia's name, so she might not have been here before. And Mona, mm, I know okay. a while ago too. So Mona's on, on audio now. Hi, Lorelai, yes, um, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. It was cutting out a little bit. We can hear you. Okay, great. Yeah, actually, you d you do know who I am. You just don't see my face. Okay. Um, and I can show you. You you've given me a reading before. Okay. Um, great. So yeah, I'm getting here late. I forgot all about it. But yeah, I think I would like to go to the woman you mentioned uh, at first, the medium. Oh oh, Wendella, who's right here. Okay, great, Wendella. So let's put you back yes. in your room, and yeah, so, so I'll put Sonia in your room with you. All right, great. So Wendella, yeah, you Sonia get actually. Sonia. Okay. Thank you for correcting me, Sonia. All right. So you're on your phone. If you tap your phone, the top left, it should say breakout rooms. It might be in blue. And so Gio, when the phone gets still like this, chances are she's in breakout rooms and it's processing. So hmm. chances are she's on her way there. Okay. Lorelei, is there any way that you can announce that Amanda's talk but Sonia, oh yeah, but Sonia's in the waiting room, so I can't oh, tell if Sonia's actually made it or not. It might be another Sonia. Okay, so Amanda's room, or sorry, Amanda's talk? Yeah. Okay. Um, when, what do you write in the beginning of it? You say talk starting? Um, I, I do the title and then I say happening now. See, Gio, I don't even know what we do because I don't, haven't done all of it. <laughs> <laughs> so we might Gio we might have people come out to the main room that want to go there now hi Sonia or Sonia I don't know if it's Sonia Sonia I, so, okay. I clicked on yes take me to the breakout room and then I got pushed back out to the to the Facebook site so, okay, so I'm going to put you in Wendella's room again with the new version of you that came in so <laughs> so touch your phone and then the top left Wendella, sorry, she had to update Zoom and she's coming back now. Okay, I'm gonna join now. I have a little uh, message box. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, Wendella, you can go now back to your room and then she'll be there. 
And again, Mandela is still, so Mandela might be on the way back there. Great, great. Hi, Jen. So we are, so I guess I should just make you, uh, uh, Nissa, I should make you a host because you know how to do this better than I do. <laughs> okay. All right. And this is now the host. <laughs> so all of, assuming it works like it did before it should, all of the rooms now are yours. Mm -hmm. And I need to be made a co-host. <laughs> So if anyone knows what room they want to go to, oh, Jen wants to go to Amanda. Excuse me. Hmm. <coughs> okay, Jen, the invite's been sent. If you are on your phone, then the, uh, and if you haven't had an invite pop up, then if you just tap your phone in the upper left-hand corner, usually there's a breakout room icon and you select that and you can join the breakout room. Let me know if you have any problems and we'll try to troubleshoot that for you. All right. I'm opening my, my doc to talk about eye readings. So I had a scary thing happen earlier. I was um, attempting to find where our recording was on our panel on special kids. Oh, and Mona's here. Okay. Great. Oh. Yeah. oh. Mona wants to go to um, Susie's room. Okay. Thanks, Mona, for being here. The invite's been sent, and, Mona. And you can go in and out of rooms as much as you want. Um, if you're on a computer, it should be on the bottom left for breakout rooms. And if you're on a phone, tap it on the top left. Right. Um, so I was searching for the searching for the the video to put in the chat and. Um, I clicked some link that I was hoping would take me there. I was going pretty quickly and all of a sudden my screen froze and it was some bad website that I didn't want to be on. Like your Mac is locked and I like couldn't click anything. Oh no. So I don't know what's happened to my computer, um, but I was able to just, I closed Chrome and then um, I reopened Chrome and uh, I don't know what's happened. So I could figure that out. Thanks. At least the room, you know, the, the fair didn't end. All right. Tina, if you'd like to talk about eye readings, I can go into a breakout room now. I think Anissa, it won't be too crowded, but I will watch my phone, Anissa, and if it gets crazy, could you just have Gio text me and then I'll come back? Sounds good. Okay, great. And Gio? Yes. As much as you can from being here, but I know it's wild and crazy in the middle of it. So Tina, are you available? Did you want to go chat? Yep, I sent her to your room. Okay, so I, I'm not in my room yet because I couldn't put me in my room. Oh, that's right. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Okay, there you go. Thanks. Hi, Tina. Hi. Oh, do you uh, want, am I supposed to put my video on? I don't know. Sure, go ahead. I can see your eyes then. That'll be better. Oh, oh hi. Recording too. 